Okay, now that we have our iBeam soft phone installed, we're now going to show you how to log into the agent interface. So, uh, the first thing you want to make sure is that you've got Firefox downloaded on your computer. If you don't have Firefox, you can simply go to dialersetup.com and you can download the latest version right here on the front page. Otherwise, you can just do a Google search for Firefox and download it from there. Now, once you have Firefox installed, you want to open up a Firefox browser and put in the link that was given to you by your administrator for the agent uh, login screen. Uh, administrators, this was the link that was sent to you in the email that's entitled agent login, uh, agent login screen. So once you type that in the address bar, it'll, you'll, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Now there's five steps to logging in as an agent. Okay, the first step is to make sure that your soft phone is up and running. Uh, make sure that it says logged in number one, uh, whatever your, your extension is. That's step one. Step two is you want to actually log in to the agent interface. Now the login, the phone login, will be the same as the extension that's on your soft phone. If it's any different, then you won't be able to log in correctly. So we're going to put 102 here. Um, the password would be given to you by your administrator. Um, uh, that, uh, for my administrators, that's the password that you um, actually set up in the VCDAL admin uh, of the system. So here we're using uh, password A123. Log in. Now the second time, after you hit login, you get another screen that says campaign login. So you have to enter the same exact information for the campaign. Uh, put in your password here, and then here you get to choose a campaign that you want to have your agents log or, or that you want to log into as an agent, I should say. So we're going to choose uh, 248 in this case. When we hit login, now this is the end of step two. When we hit login, it's going to call your soft phone, and you have to answer that call by clicking the the, the green button here at the right. So we hit login. It's calling my phone. I answer it by clicking the green button. This is step three. You should have heard a prompt that says you're currently the only person in this conference. Once you hear that, you know you're logged in. That's step three. Now, it'll say call established. You'll notice that the timer's running. That's fine. That's just is uh, how long you've been logged into the system. You're not being charged for those minutes, but it does monitor how long you've been logged in. Uh, you don't want to exit the soft phone, you don't want to hang up the call, otherwise it'll kick you from the session. So instead, you want to minimize it by clicking the middle button at the top. This is step four, minimizing the phone. So once I minimize it by clicking the middle button, it'll hide it in my system tray, which is this little green guy down here on my lower right hand corner of the screen. If I need to bring it back up for any reason, I can simply click the green button again, and it's back up. So I'm going to minimize it. That's step four. Step five which is the final step is to simply hit resume and it'll start making calls for me. Now, uh, words of the wise between the, the statuses, the pause and resume, whatever is grayed out is what's currently active. Now when you hit resume, you're not going to hear uh, any dial tone, you're not going to hear uh, any ringing, you're only going to see the, the customer's information uh, and you can actually hear them say hello uh, when a call is connected. So, we're going to hit resume here. Um, to start the calls and then we'll, shoot, we'll see what an actual lead looks like when it shows up on the screen. You'll have a little link here um, that says dial next number. You'll never need to use that. That's something, uh, that, that's another form of dialing that we're not going to be using here. So all we need really is pause and resume and then when we're done speaking with the customer we can hit hang up customer and that'll uh, terminate the call and that will take us to another disposition screen that you'll see here shortly that you can choose exactly what happened on the call. You click the disposition two times and then it'll take you right back here for the next call and it'll just go you know in that fashion. Now as you can see the customer's information showed up here. Um, when you're done pitching the customer you can simply hit hang up customer here. It will take you to a disposition screen. So we can choose what happened here. We can uh, click it two times and then it'll take us back to the screen uh, for the next call. So in this case, I'm just going to uh, click on uh, no answer, and it'll take us back for the next call. When we're done, or when we want to take a, a lunch break, or uh, you know, go, go take a, a little break here, we can simply hit pause, and it will stop the dialer for that specific agent. When you come back, you can simply hit resume, and the calls will resume for you.
couple troubleshooting issues. Um, as far as the system, when you try to log in, if it's not calling your soft phone, then we can check the settings here. We can right click and hit settings. We want to make sure that all the settings are correct. We want to make sure that the use outbound proxy is not checked. Uh, everything is checked and, and filled out the way it's supposed to. If everything uh, is correct and you're still not able to uh, get the call on your phone, a common issue is that uh, the privacy management has been uh, tampered with by either a Windows update or something to that effect. So you can simply right click on it and hit privacy management, third one down. That'll take you to a, a screen that looks like a notebook here. You'll see three check marks here. If you don't see it, you can hit add down here and then you'll see the three check box, boxes for allow phone, allow I am, and presence. Um, in most cases, the one that says allow phone would not be checked. So you just simply check it to make sure that all three are checked, hit OK, and that should solve your issue. You can log out and log back in and it should call your phone from there. If you're still having issues with logging in, simply contact your network administrator um, for your predictive dollar and they'll be more than happy to assist you. Thank you.